and carry on with the front one. Again, loosen your wheel bolts whilst the car is still on the ground and then raise the car, support it with the jack stands. We usually just leave the car that the tire is in the air so we can remove it and that's pretty much enough. So as you can see, this car has coilovers, but only on the front and not on the rear because they still need to be fitted to the rear. The situation of the scenario is pretty much the same in the front as well, but now we have two retainer screws. We need to undo them first. I'll push the brake pedal that he can undo them and then remove the caliper again, two bolts, one top, one bottom, then the caliper holding bracket, one top, one bottom. We will tell you the size, so will you know which one you need to prepare and then you can see how it is done. So without further ado, let's do it. One more comment on the retainer screws. You either use an impact driver and undo it with that. That way you don't need to press on the brake pedal or you undo it with a ratchet when someone is holding the brake pedal so that the rotor or disc cannot spin. He undone it without someone press the brake pedal as they weren't over tightened as they usually are so he was lucky this time again as well these ones the front ones were t30 torques you need the t30 torx bit to remove them so you're gonna use the 13 mil hex socket on the brake caliper bolts also my father says that don't use a big ratchet just a small one because if you have a too big leverage you can break the top of the bolt off ask him how he knows it so undo the top bolt the bottom as well it is also a good thing to replace those bolts with new ones usually you get them in the kit because these ones can get rusty, they can, then you can strip them or run them easily. And which can be a pain in the ass to remove them. Ask me, ask me how I know it. Then you can remove the brake caliper. Use the hook and hang it on the coil overs or coil spring, whichever you have in your car. Remove the brake pads from the caliper holding bracket. As you can see, these ones have a pretty much or a lot of meat on them as well. So I'm guessing he is doing a charity for you today, only to show you how to change the brakes on this car. So you can say thank you to him if you want. Now you need to remove the brake caliper holding bracket. These are again a Torx bolts. You will need to use the T, T whatever Torx bit. I will let you know in a bit because we will need to check what size they are. While he's looking for the Torx bit, let me show you the garage we have here. So let me know in the comment section which piece of equipment or tool would you like to have or own. So it is checked and confirmed. You will need a T55 torque speed in order to remove the brake caliper holding bracket. As you can see, that's the top bolt. So he couldn't break it loose with this ratchet. He is going to bring his cheat ratchet. Let me show how it looks like. So this is the cheat ratchet, or what we call it because it has a swivel head so you put inside the torx hole and then twist a little bit the end of it and use a cheat bar on the end of the ratchet so you have bigger leverage 
and you can use less force in order to remove that stuck bolt. It is difficult this way as well, but this usually works for us. Let me know in the comment section what method you use to break loose the stubborn or stuck bolts. The top one is still stuck, he cannot break it loose, he's trying with the bottom one. I heard some cracks or cracking noises so that's an indication that it's gonna be able to break loose that one probably I think now his luck went away so you need to find another method to break them loose so because I studied at the University of Harvard of mechanics I suggested him to move or turn the wheel a bit outwards so you'll have better access to it we can film it from a better angle show it to you better and also we'll have a bigger room to play or remove the bolt and look what happened i was right he was just able to break loose that stubborn bolt so what I say usually if you don't know something always ask the smarter one now the remaining thing is to remove the bolts completely and then you can remove the brake caliper holding bracket itself And again, as you can see, the brake disc or rotor, whichever you call it, it's not rusted completely on the wheel hub, so we won't have hard time remo removing this one either. I even dare to say I can remove it by my hand. Yeah, I was right. Again, 2 nil to me. Next step is to meticulously clean the caliper holding bracket. He removed the brake mod guides because he's got the new ones which is included in the new brake kit. Clean it with a wire brush. Be careful with that rubber boot or rubber dust cover. Check these pins if they move freely. If not, replace them as well. We decided not to replace them because he is happy how they move now you can clean the wheel hub surface with a wire brush or a wire brush adapter using a drill after you cleaned it you can clean it manually a little bit more with a wire brush if you want it is always better to have it as clean as you can and again, now you can put back your new shiny, shiny, fresh brake disc and look how fancy he was with himself. He got a slotted ones for himself. So let's put it back. Put back the two new little screws to hold the brake disc in its place. You don't need to crazily over tighten them. You will thank it later for yourself in case if you won't sell the car by that time. So align the holes and tighten down the screws, the retainer screws. But as I said, don't go crazy on them because you either strip the head and that's the last thing you want. Ask me how I know. So the car is in the first gear, 
so you can tighten them but as I said again please don't go crazy on them you will thank for it later for yourself so now it's firm it's not moving anywhere it's not shaking you can start to reassemble the brake system now we almost forgot to put back the new brake hot guides you don't need to worry about them you can put them back whilst the caliper holding bracket is mounted but this way is much easier when it is out of the car so you just place it back where the old ones were you make sure it is tight there are no gaps it is pretty easy and straightforward so here it is this is how they go now you can put it back to the car so as i said put back the brake caliper holding bracket align it with the holes on the knuckle and then put through the bolts and you can tighten them down always put one back in hand tighten it a little bit and then do the bottom one as well so then you can evenly tighten them down tighten them down to the point when they break <laughs> no no i was just joking always tighten them snug or you can use the correct torque specs you can look them up we don't know on this car so we just tighten them snug that's it now put the brake pads back into the brake caliper holding bracket so here are the new meaty brake pads not that the old ones weren't meaty enough so i don't know why he was replacing them So put back the rear one or you can put back the front one first as well it's up to you you just slide it in it's pretty much easy and straightforward you need don't need a degree to do it and now push back the caliper piston so here you can use different tools a hammer screwdriver vice vice locks channel locks vice grips what well, we use this fancy tool i also got in the comment section that's that is too expensive too fancy for this job whereas you can buy it from amazon or from ebay around 10 15 pounds and it's a lot more convenient for me to use basically you put it in and you just ratcheting it and then pushing back the brake piston also while ratcheting have the brake reservoir brake fluid reservoir open and monitor the level if it's overflowing stop and start to siphon a little bit of fluid out of it so let's check back he's ratcheting it back nicely it is a really convenient tool i cannot recommend it, recommend it enough now you feel resistance you just switch the ratchet and then re remove the tool yeah that's it let's check the level of the fluid no fluid has come out so we are good still now you can slide over the caliper and then secure it with the two bolts again if possible use the new bolts provided with the kit align the holes and then just tighten down the bolt so funny thing happened he only got two new bolts with the kit maybe that was a defective kit or faulty or maybe that's what he deserves i don't know so he's gonna put some thread lock on the thread to prevent it from coming loose during driving and then losing his brakes the thread lock locked the opening of the tube so finally you can put the thread lock on it he was struggling to crack the tube open but now it's too good so use a little bit of a thread locker on the thread you don't have to overdo it and then align the holes and then start tightening the bolt down first as i said only hand tighten it then you can put the lower one back in and then finally tighten both of them down
and you can tighten them down using a 13mm hex socket. And you are done with the job. You are, now you have a fancy new shiny brakes. In this case, just for the sake of having them, as this maintenance wasn't needed at all on this car. So lastly, you can put back your wheel and then you can lower the car to the ground and you are done with the job. So that's it guys. This is pretty much it for this car. We are going to do the other side as well, but that's gonna be off camera. But let me know in the comment section, what kind of cars do you want to see the next? What kind of maintenance? Or just generally what kind of content you would like to see? And I'll try to do my best to make it possible to realize it for you. Also, today is around 12 o'clock or one o'clock at the moment. So one more car is coming, two, actually two more cars are coming for, one is a Ford Mondeo is coming from oil for an oil change and the other is a Ford Kuga and that has a problem with the, with the wiper or the, the screen wash system. So it's leaking or something like that. So I'm gonna have a look at that one as well. I'll try to record it as well. So again, thanks for watching and see you in the next one, bye.